what's up guys average tech guy here and today we are back with another tutorial video so you notice i have ipad os right here in the background on my ipad pro 11. Um, today i'm going to show you how to actually set your mouse up stay tuned So this is a beta version. This is the third beta version and there are not a lot of pointing devices that can be connected. There are a few of these that will work. Um, this mouse is not a Bluetooth. There are a few that will only work Bluetooth out there. I think Logitech has a few of those. Um, this is a Logitech, but it is strictly a plug and play model. This is a silent mouse. You can barely hear it click. Uh, but this is the one we're going to be using for this tutorial. Now, I do have a Magic Mouse by Apple. This will not connect as of right now. And hope it, hopefully when the new official software comes out, we will get that support. But for right now, I'm going to show you how to navigate just so you can get this connected because there are a few steps that you're going to have to take. So step one is you're going to need to connect this to the iPad. The best way to do that is through a USB type C hub. You see, I already have it plugged in right here. I'm going to take this, plug that there, plug this into my device. Now, as you notice, it is plugged in. Everything's plugged in. Mouse is on. You got the green right there is on, but still there is nothing on that screen. There is no mouse pointer, no cursor, no nothing. So this is where everything is going to happen at. Everything's gonna go for your finger for right now. You're gonna touch that. You are going to go down, or I'm already here. You're gonna go to accessibility. So I got accessibility right here up under my finger and click on that. Once you get into accessibility, what you're gonna do is you're gonna scroll until touch comes up. You got touch, hit touch. You got this assistive touch, boom, hit that brings up a whole nother menu. Inside this menu, you're gonna turn assistive touch on. Now, as you notice, you got a cursor that popped up right here on the screen, and now you have this actual mouse support. So your mouse is turned on in assistive touch. Next problem, this little thing down here. So it's really no way to get rid of it because this is gonna help you. As you right click on your mouse, it pulls that up. So it gives you these little shortcuts. If you want to ever go back home, you're going to click this, you're going to hit home. And these shortcuts can be customized uh, from this menu. So let me show you how to actually get rid of this now, because nobody wants this to just be sitting on their screen. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to scroll down. Uh, let me make sure are we up? Oh, we're already here. So we're going to come right here to where it says always show menu. Always show menu is going to be on by default. You're going to click that and voila, goes away and it's hidden. But when you right click, it still is gonna pop up and it's gonna give you all these features that you wanna use. Now, next thing we wanna do is tracking speed. You can change that fast and slow as you want to. I have mine right here in the middle. Then we want to go to cursor. So the cursor, I have mine set on the smallest, but you can actually go up to this size right here, which I don't think anybody will be using this size but you can go up as big as that and then you can change the actual color of it. So I have mine as red right now. You can change it to green, to yellow, to orange, to blue, to white, and to gray. But I'm gonna leave mine on red for right now. So assistive touch, yeah, this is how you're gonna actually set up your mouse control. Now, when you get finished in here, you wanna go back home, you don't wanna touch your screen, you click that button on the right, hit home, takes you all the way back out to your home screen. So hopefully this has been able to help someone out. I know when I first downloaded this beta, I had problems trying to figure out how to connect the mouse, but that's how you're gonna do it. And after 15 seconds, and you can set that time limit as well in the assisted touch command, after 15 seconds, the little mouse cursor disappears and when you move it, it, pops back up right there on the screen. You can see it jiggling around as I'm moving it. So hopefully this has been able to help someone out. iPad OS is coming soon, guys. So I'm looking forward to it. Hope you guys are too. Leave your thoughts below on this. Be sure and give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe. Average Tech Guy out. Peace.